G'day. Ever wondered how it's possible to keep your clothes nice and clean while you're traveling or camping? Well, it is possible. There's about four or five different ways you can do it. You can either go to a laundromat, you can have a washing machine in your caravan, you can put water and soap inside a bucket, you can get like a dry bag and shimmy the stuff around to wash it, or you can buy one of those various uh, portable washing machines, like a tumble one or a spin one. In this video, I want to take you through some of those options, tell you the pros and cons, and uh, show you how I keep so clean. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, let's start with the most simple. The simplest I think is the bucket, water, soap. Now the important thing with soap is, uh, it doesn't have to be this particular brand, but it's wool soap for uh, hand washing. The advantage of that is technically speaking, you don't need to rinse it. Now I know you're probably gonna say, that's revolting. Not necessarily, a lot of people will wash their clothes with wool soap and don't need to rinse it. So there's a real advantage because you're saving water. And it's quite simple, you just, as I said, you get your washing. Now, the slight disadvantage is you're not going to get much washing in there in a small bucket. Um, here's some I prepared earlier. That would be maxing it out in the one go. So that's two t-shirts, two pairs of socks, a couple of pairs of jocks. Um, I don't want to waste the good stuff, so <laughs> there's, there's that choice. Now if you want to go slightly upmarket, you can buy these tubs. The advantage of this is the fact that um, you can put your water in. This one is a, a bigger size as well, so you can put more washing in. And uh, when you put the lid on it, um, there's a pretty good chance it won't fall over and won't flood your van. I'm pretty sure it won't. I haven't tried it. <laughs> so these are two, what I call bucket washing. Um, yeah, the, the obvious disadvantages, if you don't have a lid on it and it goes over a bit of a bump, suddenly the washing, the dirty washing, the dirty water and the soap and the water and everything is all over the caravan. So take that in mind. That's the simplest way of washing your clothes. Okay, what we have here, it was one of my harebrained ideas. It may or may not work. So I've had this uh, equipment for the last nine months, so I haven't used it, so it can't be that great. Anywho, let's give it a go. Basically, it works on the principle of the old washboard, you know, like my stomach. The washboard that you uh, wet your, the clothes, put your soap on, and then you just rub it like so. So here's what I've got. This is called a dry bag. They use it for sailing. Stay there a minute. Okay, dry bag. Oh, <laughs> it's bigger than I anticipated. Oh, I might be able to use it as a sleeping bag. Now, what I'm doing is I'm putting this knobbly ball inside the bag, like so. Then I will put my washing in there. This size bag should be able to take I'm guessing, well, I'll just put it in without wetting it. I don't want to wreck the good work. Well, there we go. That's a fair old, uh, <laughs> it's a pretty big bag. And you've got like a little viewing, you know, in the, uh, in the um, side mount washing machines, how you've actually got the screen, you can see things going around. Well, this has got like a little, a viewing platform. <laughs> 40 litres. Right, so you put your washing in there. I can feel a little ball there. Put in some, I'm actually going to do this, see if it really works. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? How much soap? 
Nádherné. Don't want to overdo it, it'll just be suds galore. Alright, so there we go. This is all just a concept, so <laughs> please be aware with me. Uh, I may have to stop and start the video. So I don't know what to do next. Fold, stiffen it once. This could be such a mess. And then I think <laughs> this goes over to there. That's the concept, I think. All right, you see the ball in there. <laughs> no idea where the washing is. And then basically you just need it. You need something. And then you kind of squish your washing around. I may have the ball. <laughs> <laughs> the ball may be too big or the washing too small. That's, that's about a minute. Oh, the water looks dirty. Well, that's, that's always a good thing. It smells fresh. <laughs> if I tip this out and it falls into the bucket and onto the dirt, then I guess I'll have to start again. Oh, that water's filthy. It's pretty dirty. That's got most of the water out. Oh, done a marvellous job on the ball. Excellent job. Now yeah, well, I've got a clean ball if nothing else. To be honest, it's pretty hard to tell what's clean and what's not. And there you have it, another lame brain idea of uh, poor ball drive. So here we are right, right ready to roll and um, now I've shown you how to put the, the, uh, the top on, I've got to take it off again, put the water in. Come on. Okay, now that it's unboxed, let's see if we can uh, use it properly the way it's intended. I'm not big on uh, instruction booklets, but um, I have used it a couple of other times and I've had more of a bath than I have of actually cleaning the uh, clothes. So. Apparently this lid, getting the lid on and off, which I said yesterday was a little bit tricky, it's got some sort of a, a sign on it that says, um, oh, there it is. This one says to open, so open it there, off it comes, and obviously the close is the opposite. No offence, but you think the cost of that sticker, you'd put it on a few of them, just for us uh, slow uptake guys. The other thing, um, there's nowhere on the web that I can find the actual amount of water you put in, although I thought it was a typographical error, but someone mentioned about a two litre washing machine. I think it meant two kilogram, but we'll try today two litres. Saucepan, this is two litres. Okay. As usual, <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Yeah. There we go. All right, that's two litres. Glug, 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 glug. Hmm. The other thing in, in the instructions, I did find the instructions, it says don't fill it over the watermark. But at two litres, I really don't think that's enough. So I'll put in four litres, <laughs> which is basically half a bucket. Now allegedly, <laughs> allegedly that's exactly the right amount. Although no, that's not true, it's now twice the amount. So if we put that <laughs> and some soap. Oh, actually the instructions says something like about a teaspoonful. 
Um, I'll look it up, but today I'll go a bit outlandish. Tea's beautiful, that's like nothing. That's a dessert spoon. Tablespoon, oh that'll do. Don't want them too clean. Okay, so we've got the water in the soap in. I still think maybe the water's too much now I look at it. Anywho, and we'll put the lid on. Find that little uh, sticker that says how to open and close it. <clears throat> oh, I come up with a brilliant idea last night. I'll just try this, back in a mo. Don't forget, this is just an idea. It may or may not work. Okay. Right, the important thing here, hopefully you can see me okay. The important thing here is to make certain the, um, this uh, drain plug is on secure. No offence, but it's a slightly bad design, I reckon, but anyway. So make certain it's on attached, it's not going anywhere. Your lid's on properly and start winding. Yeah, not too bad. Now the only thing it doesn't, oh, here we go, the only thing it doesn't prevent that non-slip is basically prevent the table from moving. And the, with the water, I think it's too much. Maybe two litres was right. Apparently it makes no difference whether you go clockwise or anti-clockwise. Oh. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drain that four litres down to around about two litres. Undo the cap, take it off, let it flow and just keep an eye on it. The other difference it might make is when you put the t-shirts in, put them in with some sort of a fashion. You have a lot of uh, you have a lot of leeway when you're doing it with your uh, electric washing machine. If you get this unbalanced, it could be pulling to one side. Oh, oh look at that. Never been so clean. Whew. Paramedics. <sighs> Definitely gives you a little workout. So that's, that's how to use it. I've already shown you how to uh, empty it, but I'll do that again. And then next time you see me, I'll pull it all apart and I'll put in the uh, rinser. And the rinsing thing is the thing I absolutely love. Remove the agitator and put in the spin dryer. The great thing about the spin dryer is there's no attachments, you just literally drop it onto the um, shaft, she's ready to go. I'll put this in with some sort of a system rather than just plonk it in. Oh, maybe it goes the other way. Oh, it goes the other way. <laughs> so, there we are, it's in the slot. My bad. Okay, uh, now you can leave the drain plug out because you don't need it up. This is the thing I love the most about this machine. Apart from the humor factor. And it's not a race, so you don't have to go absolutely crazy. Unless that table of yours is reasonably stable, the table will wander all around the countryside. And so will the spinner.
Now the, um, I'll give you an idea how much water's left in it by me wringing it. Look, I can hardly get a thing left of it. So it's almost worth buying this thing just for uh, spin drying. It really is excellent. And it's good for workout. All those people who are traveling on the road thinking, oh, I should be down the gym pumping iron and doing all your exercises. Whew, those guns, I tell you. Um, so there you go. And this is the one that I use almost all the time unless I'm down at the uh, laundromat. I just wanted to show you this because uh, packing away in storage is another big thing for any sort of a washing machine. Pulled it all apart and popped all its little components in. Drop it in there. Perfect. And this fits underneath my bed in the caravan. So once it's in there, put it at the back of the uh, back of the van. I don't need to worry about it for uh, until I'm, next time I do some washing. Regarding washing machines, I'm making all my opinions and comments based on the fact that you're actually going to go out, buy a washing machine and then have it installed. If it's already installed, <laughs> lucky you, enjoy. Having said that, I have known some people who have bought a caravan with a washing machine in it and taken it out to give them extra room. And then there's the laundromat, sometimes disguised as just any old shop. The great tribute to this particular uh, Laundromat is this echo effect. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. There you go. Well, that's my interpretation of traveling and or camping and keeping your clothes clean. Down below I've given you a free spreadsheet that you're welcome to use. Download it and put in your own figures that you see relevant to you. It gives you an idea of the um, actual cost of the unit, the cost on a weekly or fortnightly base of keeping all your clothes, towels and sheets clean. If you found the video helpful, useful and or entertaining, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, and if you think it's worth sharing, that would be great. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, this is Paul Will Drive, signing off.